Good evening and welcome to Friday Night Center Court right here on NBC Nebraska Scott's Bluff. All of your local high school basketball scores and highlights. Great show for you, so let's get right to it. The Garing basketball teams, they're set to tangle with Scott's Bluff tomorrow night. Tonight, the Bulldogs taking on Northern Panhandle foes, Shattern in boys and girls action. Let's head out to G-Town. And we start with the ladies contest out in Garing. Second quarter, shattering up and adding to that lead. Demi Ferguson, the nice corner tray for three points. Later on the fast break, watch Laney Klimke, the nice dime to McKinley Fuller, who scores two more Cardinal points. Time winding down in the second quarter. Nevaeh Haraski giving Gehring a spark going into the locker room as she drains the three ball. In the end, though, not enough as Shattern girls pick up the 50-31 win over Gehring tonight. We check on the boys' contest out in Gehring. Pick things up, fourth quarter. Shattern trailing this one, but getting back in it behind their three-point shooting. Brock Berry with the tray. Then it's Gage Wild for three more points. Cards also pounding the glass off the miss. Xander Province rebound and score. However, the night belonging to Gehring. Uriah Wybera, who had a big night, the nice pass to Jacob Van Ann, who drains the three ball. Then it's Max Greeley, the nice drive, and that's deuces. Garing boys go on to get the win, 65-54 over Shattern tonight. Up next for both Garing boys and girls, Scott's Bluff tomorrow night. The Minuteman Activities Conference Tournament in the semifinal round out in Bridgeport tonight. Let's head out to some of the action. Now we start with the girls' first semifinal, Layton taking on Garden County. Pick things up, second half. Garden County down, but making a run. Taylor Fornander getting the loose ball or pass, however you want to call it, but she scores from it to cut the lead. Later is Olivia Christensen, the drive and score for two more Eagle points. Garden County right in this one. Fourth quarter action now. Layton trying to take the momentum back. Sydney Fortune in the paint. Hoop and she draws the foul. Sydney not done. The nice drive and score to put the Warriors back on top. Then is Zally Benish, who had a big night giving Layton three more points. However, Garden County would retake the lead with under one minute to play to go up 41-40. But Zaley Benish, who had a big night, as I said, she would hit two clutch free throws down the stretch to put Layton back on top. And the Lady Warriors move into the MAC tournament finals as they hold on for the 42-41 win over Garden County. Baird and South Platte scoring off in the second semifinal of the night. Pick things up, first quarter. Baird had their long range game on early. Danny Harder with the three ball. Then is Lexi Fiscus for three more Lady Tiger points. Baird also pounding the glass off the miss. Jocelyn Hopkins for two points. Check out the passing here. Scarlett Norman, the nice dime to Kara Miller, who scores the basket. In the end, Baird goes on to get the win tonight. 49-42 over South Platte. Tigers now will face Layton in the Mac Girls Championship round. We check on the boys' side of the MAC tournament bracket. Baird boys taking on Layton in a semifinal. Pick things up, second half. Warriors up and extending their lead. Court Rummel with the jumper for two, and he draws the foul. Dylan Jolliffs adding to his point total with the open three-pointer to give Layton 
an even bigger lead. Then late in the third quarter, off for turnover is Jonathan Cruz with the lay-in for two. Bear down big in the fourth quarter, but they weren't folding. Watch the inbounds pass from Trent Marquez, finding Adrian Torres, who drains the three-pointer. But the night belonging to Layton. Justin Ernest in the paint for two more Warrior points. Layton moving into the finals of the MAC tournament as they pick up the 55-35 win over Baird on the boys' side of the bracket. Meanwhile, the SPVA tournament also in the semifinal round out in North Platte. Local team Bridgeport in the final four in both the boys' and girls' side of the bracket. Let's check on the Bulldogs. Now we start with the Lady Bulldogs. They were in action, taking on Chase County in a semifinal. Bulldogs already with a commanding lead, so why not add three more? Brooklyn Mormon draining the corner three. The Horns, though, not going down without a fight. Here's Bren McNair. She lays it in for the Chase County points. Horns with the ball back, McNair again. This time she picks up the rebound and the points. But Bridgeport couldn't be stopped tonight. Olivia Loomis Girdle finds Ruthie Loomis Girdle down low. She'll miss the first one, but is there for her own rebound and takes advantage of that. Bridgeport with a big win tonight as they advance into the championship round as they get the double digit win over Chase County. Now we check on the Bridgeport boys out in North Platte. And they were in semifinal round action, taking on Perkins County. Early on, this one off the inbounds, Bodie Dose for the Bulldogs gets it up and in and puts Bridgeport in front. Then the ladies, they love that play. Later in the first, Bridgeport again looking to score, and it's Casey Loomis, this time as he gets to the bucket and puts it in. Bulldogs off to a hot start. Perkins County answering now, though. Ryder Potts gets the hoop, and he lays it in to stop the 9-0 to zero start for Bridgeport. But Bulldogs would take this one in a tight one to move into the final. So both the Bridgeport boys and girls pick up semifinal wins. They'll be playing for SPVA tournament titles.